you guys and gals, and everybody here from Drake Wayne Gaming. It's something you asked, what are the gaming drag today? I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Le of Tennis Ace, uh, June's Path. That's right, y'all, we're jumping right back into June's Path, but before we do that, I want to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm 10, you are up. Oh boy, let's go. All right. What? Why didn't you tell me on Saturday? If you'd reminded me, I would have showed. What am I, your personal calendar? You're almost an adult. You should learn to handle your obligations by yourself. But this was important. You should have reminded me. You woke up really late. I thought you'd head over there right, af right after that, so I went first. And when you didn't show up, well, there wasn't much I could have done. What about calling me? I have a phone, you know. Aki shrugged, closing his bag and putting it over his shoulder. It's not like you it's not like you ever have your phone anyway. Besides, are you really gonna keep trying to pin the responsibility on me? I can't believe no one called me. I can't believe you didn't show. See, we go on circles like this all day. Is Shuichi really mad? He was disappointed, although right now I guess he's just depressed. He lost pretty handily at the finals. I'll try talking to him once I get to school. Thanks. Oh, and tell June I said hi. Why June in specific? He shrugged again, stopping by the hallway leading to the front door. I don't know, you two are together often and are really close. I thought it'd be appropriate. Anyway, see ya. For ya. The sound of the door closing echoes down the hall. Talk to June, huh? Come to think of it, didn't Aki say something about thinking the two of us were a couple yesterday? Ugh, thinking about this just makes my head hurt. Ah, Yuichi, good morning. I hear a familiar voice calling out to me from the stairs. When I turn to look, I see my mom dressed in her usual work attire, fiddling with her bag by the stairs. That's new. Usually long gone by the time I wake up. My hours got changed a bit. We got a few new hires in the office, so I don't need to be pulling overtime every day. Knowing you, you are probably super bitter about it. Mom puckers her lips with a <laughs> her brow furrowing deeply. So what if I like my work? It's much better than staying at home and being bored. Thanks, Mom. I love you too. You know, that's not what I meant. My God, where did I put my keys? You mean the ones right here on top of the kitchen island? I grab at a pair of keys I noticed as soon as I walked downstairs, spinning them around on my thumb for effect. Oh, that's right. I left them there after I had dinner. I forgot. What did you think of, by the way? What did you think of it, by the way? It wasn't much, but I tried to change the spice mix I usually use a little. It tasted a little milder than usual, but as always, it was delicious. Heh, huh, thanks. We dropped by the school festival for a bit this week. You do have free time, apparently. I'll try, but I might just end up working on some stuff once I get home. Seriously, you're too much of a workaholic. It's okay to relax every now and again, you know. And by the way, okay, have you wished your father a good day yet? Oof. As soon as she says those words, I freeze. Mom. <sighs> she slowly shakes her head sideways, sighing. You kids never pay him any attention. He's gonna get really lonely, you know. She walks up to a small wooden shrine we have in the corner of the living room. Aki and I keep the door to it closed all the time because we just don't like looking at it. Because of it, hardly anyone who comes over here not ever notices. Half the time I forget that it's, a that it's there. Mom delicately opens the doors, revealing a few small pottery ornaments, an incense burner, and right at the center of the whole thing, a single frame picture of my dad. Because dad was never much one for pictures, the only good picture mom, mom could find of him was from back when he was in high school too. It just creeps me out seeing him looking so young. You know, your father probably misses you boys very much. It wouldn't kill you to pay your respects every now and again. Reaching inside her handbag, she grabs a lighter and uses it to light a stick of incense, placing it inside the burner. She kneels in front of the shrine, putting both of her hands together in prayer. I watch the whole thing from the corner of my eye, my throat suddenly feeling like it has something stuck in it. No matter how much I try, I just can't bring myself to watch it. To me, it just feels wrong. Like clinging to a past that won't ever come back instead of moving forward. I'm sure it must have been even weirder for Aki. He never even got to meet the man after all. Have a good day, Ken. Still, as far as I know, she follows the same routine every day. Before leaving the house and before going to bed. Day by day, always doing the same. My mind refuses to accept such a routine. I feel like if I were to start doing something like that, I'd just remain stuck in place. My mom gets up, fixing the hem of her skirt and walking to the door. I'll try to be home when you boys get back. If I can, I'll make dinner, too. I can't have you going doing everything everything around the house all the time. It's all right. 
You don't have to worry about that. You work really hard, after all. She smiles, walking up to me and cupping my cheek with her right with her left hand. You're really sweet, Yuichi, but I'm your mother. I'm the one who's supposed to be taking care of you, not the other way around. Sheesh, you don't have to fuss over every little thing. I love you, too. And have a good day with the festival, okay? Oh, and if you see Shuichi, Shuichi Kun and Hitoka-chan, tell them I said hi. That <laughs> will do. Hmm. I walk up to the shrine Mom was praying to, making sure to put out the incense so it doesn't burn anything. You're not really here, are you, old man? Is this to be expected? The picture cannot respond. Sighing, I close the door again, shutting it back inside. Just getting near to the school gates, I can already hear a lot of activity in the area. Lots of students arrived here early in the morning to finish setting things up so all would be ready before the official start time. Which, of course, just makes it so they create an unofficial start time. I wasn't all that interested in waking up or waking up or waking up early, so I decided to come a little bit later in the morning. Second y'all, coffee time. Oh yeah, good stuff. By getting here later in the day, there's more movement going around and more events have been prepared. Lots of different booths have been set up across the school grounds. Some of them are just games. Others try to show part of our school curriculum in a way that might attract attention. Science experiments, diagrams, there are all kinds of setups fighting for our attention. But the most popular end up being, being the foods. The smell of all kinds of foods wafts around the campus grounds and tons of people gravitate around those stands. I have to admit, Part of me is really interested in going around and sampling the foods right away, but I know I should probably hold on for a while. But I know the first day is the best time to go sampling around the different displays, trying to see everything they have to offer. The reason for that is quite simple. In our school, the first day of the cultural festival is always closed for students and staff only. That gives students the chance to do a little test run before opening to the public, as well as just giving people some time to prepare for the larger influx that would soon follow. It's also, it's also the only reason why people... Uh, people who would usually be very busy can can find themselves free. Like, hey, Yuichi, good morning. Hey there, looks like I'm not the only one sauntering around the school grounds early in the morning. Sauntering? Did you fall asleep on top of a dictionary or something? Are you going to get on my case just because I used an unusual word? Hmm, considering it. Did you run into anyone else yet? Last I checked, Yerushihara was trying to organize his class's haunted house. I ran into Sai-chan a bit earlier, but, she, but uh, we just greeted each other in passing. She seemed a bit busy. Oh no, do you think our plans to walk around the festival together as a group won't pan out? I think it's a bit too early to tell. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. Fair enough, I guess. Hmm. Is something the matter? Oh, n no, everything's fine. You sure? You don't seem fine. I Shuichi up and down, trying to get a feel for how he's feeling right now. Even though I expected him to be super down, he's acting incredibly normal. He's so casual right now that it's actually scaring me a little. Um, Shuichi, are, are you okay? Huh? Why wouldn't I be? I mean, there was the competition yesterday and all. You mean the one you missed? Ah! Shuichi's words stick straight to the point, not wasting any breath with idle chatter. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have forgotten. It's fine. You worry too much. You're not mad? Hmm, how should I put it? I guess I was a little bit surprised, I guess. You've showed up to all my competitions since we first became friends, so it caught me a bit by surprise. But then again, you've always been an airhead, so something like this was bound to happen. Hey, I'm not an airhead! Oh, so should I assume the alternative and of you just not caring and skipping because you couldn't be bothered? Okay, I'm an airhead. Heh. <laughs> are, are you sure it's you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, losing is definitely a chore, but it isn't that big of a deal. It's just a high school club. Hearing those words just grosses me out in all sorts of ways. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. You don't look really happy to hear it. No, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. The last thing I need right now is for you to be worrying about me. Second like, you know. <sighs> By the way, how was it? June's competition, that is. Wait, what? You knew about it? Not at first. Aki messaged me last night to tell me why he didn't show up. At least as far as Sunday is concerned. He was super worried about smoothing things over for you. It was kind of cute. You really do some unnecessary things sometimes, Aki. It was good. June got first place. It was great to watch. Really? You don't sound too you don't sound too happy. Sorry, I kinda have a lot on my mind. That's fine. By the way, if you head over to your classroom, uh, tell June I congratulated him on his victory, okay? Will do. How do I get the feeling I'm being turned into some kind of errand boy? Even inside the school hallways, the whole place is pot is packed with students running down the halls in a rush. It's kind of funny. I'm almost 100% sure none of these people would be in such a rush if they were... 
Just a rush if they were trying to get to something like a class they're late for. Priorities, I guess? As I'm going up the stairs to my floor, I see Cake and I'm about to head downstairs. Ah, Yuichi-san. Good morning. Good morning. He promptly greets me with a smile, stopping right in front of the staircase. I finish climbing the last few steps so I can be level with him. Are you just arriving? I thought you would have gotten here earlier so you could spend as much time checking out the f festival as possible. Puh! And missed the chance to sleep in? No way. <laughs> Fair enough. My class is kind of rushing trying to get everything set up properly. We found out that there's still too much light creeping in through the window, so they're trying to tape them off. Isn't that going to be a huge hassle to remove later? Probably. I'm not trying not to think about it. The whole thing is already a chore to work on as is. My condolences. And by the way, you're still going to have free time later today for us all to get together? For sure. I told them I'd be ducking out today already. I already have people to cover for me. The whole class is already much more excited about the concept of our venue than I am, so there's no lack of volunteers. People actually want to be working during the festival? That's kind of sad. I'm pretty sure the opposite of person that refuses to work and just gives more work to others is much, much sadder. Not at all subtle there. I wasn't trying to be. Any idea, who I, any idea when I can swing by your class's display? Hmm. We'll probably be up and running in about an hour or so. Although, honestly, I don't see the appeal in doing a haunted house thing in the middle of the morning. I'm pretty sure it'd still be fun. You and I have very different tastes of ideas of fun. What's that? Could it be that it scares you too much? Whoa, really? I wasn't expecting that. Shut up. I'm not one for cheap thrills, okay? That's a very refined way of saying you're chicken. Ugh, you can be so annoying sometimes. Aw, oh, thanks. That wasn't a compliment. <laughs> Either way, I need to get going right now. Can't afford to start slacking off right now. Alright, good luck. Thanks. I'll see you later. Kaken passes by me and walks down the stairs. I turn to watch him go, lingering in my spot for a second before continuing to make my way up. As soon as I walk into my class, I see all the walls have been decorated with strips of colored paper and with multiple multiple paper lanterns dangling from the ceiling. There you go. Okay. I know this place was decorated on Friday, but I swear there are more lanterns here than there were when I last checked. Still, as soon as the door was open, an orange figure runs up to me excitedly. Yuichi-san! I've barely even had time to acclimate to my surroundings when he's already boisterously jumping around in front of me. Hey there, June! You look pretty happy! I am! Look at me! I got my waiter uniform! Look! Isn't it cool? June spins around where he stands, trying to show off the whole thing to me. He even lifts his tail when he turns his back to me, probably so he can give me a good view. Unfortunately for me, all that does is pull my attention towards his, uh, back. Ka! No! Don't look at it! Holy crap, my face is so hot right now. Does it look great on me? Yes, it does, June. You look very cute in that uniform. Oh, cute? I'm not cute. That's for girls. I don't know what to tell you there, June. You're pretty cute. I'm not. Yeah, you are. And you look pretty adorable when you blush. Don't say things like that. Anyway, you're all set to be a waiter, huh? Yep, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have no idea how going around serving people food is supposed to be fun, but hey, to each his own. I look around the room, seeing a few of our classmates dressed in similar clothes to June. For some reason, there are barely any waitresses here. In fact, most of them are guys. What happened to the girls? It's looking like a real sausage party in here. Sausage party? Oh, um, never mind. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze-tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver-tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold-tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our ultimate tier. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to a not-safe-for-work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!